and welcome back all of our teenagers. For today we have a very special topic and we have a very special guest. My brother Amant is joining us to talk about social media and the effects of social media. So welcome Amant. Thank you very much. Before we get started, I would just want to say that we will be discussing the good and the bad about social media. We are not at all saying that social media is bad, but we are saying that there are positives and negatives to it. So, Armand, the first question for you is, what are the effects, what are some of the effects of social media in the physical, emotional and spiritual realms? All right, so in the physical realm, social media has a chemical effect on your brain and on your body, but, sp but specifically your brain. When you receive a text message or a social media notification, there's a chemical in your brain, I think it's called dopamine, that um, is released. That It's that spike of happy feeling of curiosity that you receive. That part is good for you. It can also be addictive. That is why it is so fun to be popular on social media. Uh, emotionally, Social media can have a good and a bad emotional uh, influence on you. If you're using social media to get to know someone, that can be a good emotional bond. Or if it's the right, if you're doing it the wrong way, it can create a bad emotional bond. Mm -hmm. um, even with just meeting other people online whom you don't know, you may not be building a good relationship with that person, but there can be an emotional bond whether you like it or not. So that's one of the dangers as well of using social media to meet other people. Spiritually, social media can also have a good or bad effect. I've seen uh, many excellent and wonderful, inspiring and encouraging spiritual stuff on social media. For example, YouTube videos or inspirational posts or people doing talks on social media like we are doing. But then again, there can other be other bad spiritual influences. For example, when the news people sometimes use social media, they use it to spread fear or um, bad opinions and that can be a bad spiritual influence. Well, thank you. I also think that emotionally, like we have been talking about with identity, um, the good thing is you can use it to um, discover yourself in many new ways, but it can also um, create some um, bad tendencies and just it can also affect your um, self-confidence as well because you see all the other people on social media and the fact is that everyone puts their best foot forward um, on social media so um, yeah thank you okay so next question is what if you could give one tip to your younger teenage self what would that be I think the biggest one would be Wait, don't use social media very early on. If you are already using it, or if you feel comfortable with using it, again, this is just my opinion, this is the tip I would give myself, wait, because of all the influences we've just discussed, when you're still in your teenage years, these influences can cause lots of instability in your teenage years. As she mentioned, self-confidence, views on the world, I would say, wait. Until about you're, you're about 18 years old, I think that's a good age to start using social media because that's when you start moving out of the house sometimes, it's good to stay in contact and after that you've already developed most of the things you would develop during your teen years, your, um, you've learned how to cope with the new things that you're feeling or the new stuff that's going on in your body, so mm. wait. Oh, that's a very good tip. Okay, um, last question is um, how can teenagers use social media in a biblical way so we want we're on social media but we want to use it in a biblical way in a way that is uplifting and bu building up others how can we use it in a biblical way i would say one of the main ways you can use social media in a biblical way is just by acting biblically on social media the stuff you post the stuff you reply to the, the stuff you say when you reply all of that can be a biblical way of acting on social media, responding encouragingly, not commenting bad stuff, uh, refraining from delivering your opinion on every single thing that you see on social media, mm. and also regarding the stuff you post, always posting stuff that even if it's fun is still glorifying to God. Mm. Yeah, and it's important because you can have fun, but you can still honor God with um, your life. Okay, so any last thoughts when it comes to social media and the influence that social media has on teenagers? I would say one of the big things 
to finish off with is trust those above you in authority over you when they give advice regarding social media. If your parents say no, you cannot use this social media app yet. Trust them. It's not fun, it's not nice, but trust them because they do know what they're talking about. I only found that out after I went through my teenage years that what they were saying was actually true and there was also stuff they weren't telling me. So I would say if your pastor or a spiritual leader or a youth leader that you look up to or even a friend says rather not now or don't do this or don't look into this I would say you should you should trust them. There's always time later in your life to get onto social media if it's if you feel it's necessary. So true. Thank you so much, Armand, for that godly advice and wisdom. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you next week.